So these people are envious of your appearance. You have a natural beauty to you. And if I'm talking to a male, males can be beautiful too. But you have a natural beauty to you. You got the type of person where you don't need to wear any type of makeup or, or for my ladies. Like you don't have to wear any of that to be pretty, to be attractive because you have an, I'm saying what I heard, you have an inner beauty about you that glows and that shines that makes your outer shell and vessel just absolutely beautiful because of your inner beauty your inner beauty is reflecting outwardly you glow from the inside out but to add to that which is like the cherry on top is the fact that your physical beauty is very very beautiful very beautiful and you have this natural beauty that not everyone has and you've also grown into your looks now maybe as a child you had you went through like your funny looking phase or whatever like your puberty phase that we all go through and when you were in those phases and you were you know just kind of just going through puberty you're you were transitioning and you looked a certain way it's like you had certain people these are siblings that saw you and they compared their beauty to yours. And at the time, it was as if they had more beauty than you did. But it was because you were going through your puberty transition. It's like these siblings had already been through their puberty. And then there was other ones where like they were also going through puberty, but they didn't have they didn't go through the funny looking phase. They they looked out with that one. And your siblings got a lot of attention. And especially it's like your siblings got more attention than you at this time. They were they were chosen more over you they like you know people really like just filled up their head and like their head like their ego got just even bigger by all of this extra attention and everything and then like because people would compare the two of you then that is what really fueled their ego like yeah i'm the pretty one i'm the prettier one but here's what happened is tables will turn because beauty can fade looks can always fade and when a person has a nasty spirit it's going to affect their physical vessel and their physical vessel is being affected and their beauty is fading their whole entire being is fading at this point they're not as pretty as they used to be because their spirit is so ugly and corrupt and so cold and wicked and now at this point your beauty is just outstanding and now they feel inferior to you they feel like you are prettier than them that you look better than them you're getting chosen now you're getting compliments all the time you're getting part two so you are now glown up you have had this massive glow up and you look totally different than how you looked when you were like a like a teenager you know, like if you see a picture of like your teenage self when you were going through your puberty versus your current self right now, it's like, okay, thank you, spirit. So you, you know, Josh Peck, right? From Drinking Josh. And you remember how he had this huge glow up, like when he was on all that, the Amanda show in the first season of, uh, first couple seasons of Drinking Josh, how he was that, that chubby Josh, but then Josh glowed up. He lost all of that weight. He got handsome and everything. And he had this massive glow up. And it's like Josh Peck now and Josh Peck then looks like two totally different people. But it's the same person. That type of glow up, that's the type of glow up that you had, baby. But like in your own unique way. So what happened is that the same person, you, you were the person that was made fun of for your appearance. Now, the universal law of karma to balance itself out, now you are getting complimented from left and right about your appearance all the time. Like you're getting so many compliments of people telling you how beautiful you look, how, how handsome you are, how good you look. And it's making up for all of the times that you were called names and just made fun of for your appearance, mocked for your appearance. I mean, you've had people that have called you ugly at some point in your life. And now all you're hearing is people telling you how beautiful you are. 
And when you were going through all of this and people were making fun of your appearance, your own siblings were making fun of your appearance too. And part of their karma is the watching you glow up and just be this beautiful person or handsome for you men. And now they have to see you and your glow. And because they allowed their heart to go corrupt and it affected their physical appearance and their beauty has started to fade and is continuing to fade, they now feel inferior to you. They feel like you look better than them. And it's crazy because it's like they used to think and say to themselves like, well, I look better than them. I look better than her. I look, I look better than him or whatever. But now it's kind of like, wow, they look better than me. And the thing is, people have even, part of their karma is somebody had even told your sibling, nah, your sibling look better than you. Like, yeah, maybe, they, but nah, now your sibling look way better than you. And that really ate them alive. It really ate, eats at their ego because they wanted to be the top dog. They wanted to be on this pedestal, but they got knocked off of their pedestal because they didn't handle that pedestal correctly. They were corrupt up there. They were cocky. They were conceited. They looked down on everybody and their heart just turned corrupt. So it's like, no, you don't get to be up here if you're going to act like that. And you have this beautiful spirit. There's a good soul and you're physically attractive. It's like, no, 